I've always felt that it was very important to not just play on my drum set without understanding how the sound that, that I'm getting from it comes to me and, and, and also is projected out. Because if I have an understanding of what, what this, the instrument is doing, it gives me more security to do more with it, you see. Um, that said, I'm being very, very general on purpose because as with any instrument, man, it's a lot of working parts, and it begins up here with this instrument. So you have to figure out what is it you want to have to say. So now we're talking about the, the theoretical side uh, uh, and the application of what your knowledge uh, of, of your knowledge and, and how you can best use what you know to feed your colleagues so that they can in turn do the same thing for you. And fundamentally that's keeping it very, very, very simple. For you. I think, uh, you know, as, as an educator, with, when you're talking about your specific instrument, in my case, keyboards or piano, um, there's the technical aspect, which you've got to teach, but the aspect, and I think Dean would, would agree with me with this, is that's, that a lot of educators miss is ear training. Developing your ears is almost as important, or maybe even more so, than the technique on your instrument, because you can only play what you can hear. And in order to express yourself fully through your instrument, you have to have that ability. It's really important. It's, 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 it, it's, it's important for you to be able to communicate with other musicians when you're playing, to be able to hear what they're doing, understanding where they're coming from. Otherwise, you're lost. And I think that's something that a lot of educators miss, and, and I think that's a really, really important part of, of somebody developing the ability to really speak through their instrument, because that's what you're doing, you're speaking. Your instrument is a tool for you to speak. And, yeah. and, and I like to call it a conduit. A conduit, better yeah. word, much yeah. better word. Yeah. And that's, that's really what it is. And you want to be able to have that, that conduit so it flows naturally. Right. So you're not second guessing yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the big thing that I try to express to students, and I think that um, if, more teachers would take this tack. I think they would get a better result out of uh, trying to get kids, or not, ki you know, not just kids, wh whatever, whoever they're Student, teaching, yeah. to uh, to play with each other. Is the the big thing, the biggest thing to understand as a musician is you're the instrument, not the guitar, the drums. You're it. You're the instrument. Right. So it, it speaks to exactly what you're talking about. Right. This idea of ear training, the idea of uh, that that we all have to know about pulse and time, and we all have to know about timbre and all these different things that are only realized with our ears. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. So we're the instrument, and and the, the more we can um, uh, sort of. Uh, preach that and, and get people to buy into that as, as soon as they realize, well, if, you're, if we're all the instrument and that's a commonality, mm -hmm. then it makes it much easier for everybody to play together. You yeah, know? Right, right. So some people might think, oh, well, we should learn ear training from the bass player's perspective or the drummer's perspective or the keyboard's play, but that, that makes really no sense to me because, again, there's a, uh, there's a commonality that we need to have. I need to know about rhythm. I need to know certain things about rhythm, uh, which you would think are, is the realm of the drummer, but that's just not true. Same thing, Billy needs to know and does know things about harmony and melody, you know, that, are, that make it so much easier for him to tell this communal story and stuff like that. So ear training is just ear training. Just There's no bad ear training. There's no specific ear training that's the best 
kind of ear training. It's just you got to do it all. Just constantly do it all. It teaches the, each musician to interpret the music on a, on a universal level for, for the community in which it's right. working. You see? So if you, if you understand um, the perspective from the perspective of each of your colleagues, where they're coming from, in terms of how they approach playing the, the, this piece of music to contribute, it's going to make your, your, uh, your thoughts and ideas streamlined towards that direction so you have a group presentation. That's what's important.